Welcome to D20 Deathmatch! Welcome to D20 Deathmatch. Acolytes, you have returned to the arena. We're glad to see you. We find ourselves deep in the halls of the Dread Fortress. Elucia Skypiercer sits on her throne, strangely looking at a small contraption, a box. You know it as a television. As the Arbiter walks in, heels clacking across the stone. Uh, Grandmaster, uh, what are you, what are you watching? Well, I thought it was supposed to be a game, but I really don't get this. Like, they told me that there was supposed to be some amazing tournament, a finale of some sort against rams and tigers, and I was watching uh -huh. it, and I haven't seen a single ram or a tiger at all. I really don't understand. If anything, maybe it's just a bunch of barbarians playing, but that seems really boring to have one class the entire time. Is it? I just don't get it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Is this some sort of televised deathmatch, or...? <sighs> not really. It's not. There's no real major stakes at play. They're just tossing a ball around. But And they're not They're not killing anyone. Nothing. No, no one's blow. dying. Not a... No one's dying. I mean, for the most part, they're all just standing along the side watching, but... Okay. Uh, and very, what's... Very what's, dull. What's the objective? What's the point? I suppose just to play with the ball. I mean, I guess some people really like playing with balls. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. yeah I guess. Uh, okay, weird. Um, <clears throat> but, but in any uh, case, any... I, I'm bored to death with it. And yes. I, to be honest, the goblins keep trying to move the antenna this way or that, and the signal's terrible anyway. <sighs> well, yeah, I've been there, the goblins. Uh, Grandmaster, a uh, point of business. Uh, you know, I've been going through the... Well, okay. I just want to lay the cards on the table. I know that the traitors escaped uh, the other day, and I'm sorry. I, I, I got my what? best people on it. Yeah, the the traitors. You, you know, the ones that planning the overthrow of uh, the Dread Fortress. Uh, yes, who are planning to overthrow my entire kingdom, what I've planned, what I've built. You let them escape? Uh, let is a strong word. I th you it's have more like. One task. I have a lot of tasks. I'm very important around here. The Grandmaster, angry, rises from her throne and approaches the Arbiter. Listen, I told you that it is imperative that we protect the Dread Fortress. And if there are any risks, especially ones that you have allowed to escape, they are your responsibility to solve. I thought I brought you in because you're competent. Are uh, you? Uh, yes, Grandmaster, I will I will figure it out. I will get it done. Uh, but in the meantime, let me let me make it up to you. Let me, uh, maybe uh, you turn the TV off and I give you a real uh, bout of sport. <sighs> it can't just be any old death match, Arbiter. I need something grand, mm. something different, something that, oh, well, is definitely better than this drivel and she's going to kick the TV over. I I think I have something that is going to, to blow you away, Grandmaster. I think I have the perfect champions. Yeah, okay. I'll believe it when I see it. And she, like, eyes you down, giving you a bit of a death glare, not believing what you're saying. Well, Let me guess. You found him at an Arby's or an Applebee's, McDonald's, the bowling alley. What next? Well, Grandmaster, I think I think that I've talked enough. I think that I have said enough personally. So I'm just going to go ahead and introduce them. Uh <clears throat> Uh, champions! As the Arbiter slides open uh, his hand, slides down his hand and opens a portal and walk through the two champions. Grandmaster, may I introduce to the arena tonight for your pleasure Bargo Blakely versus Carnelian! That's great intro. Carnelian! Present yourself oh, to our Grandmaster. Ah, uh, so Carnelian kicks a door forward, stomps forward, and the light, all the hellfire light, bounces through his crystalline scales as he is a Carnelian gem dragonborn. Uh, and the warlock is just... <laughs> Carnelian is ready! <laughs> Got you for three whole minutes of playtime. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna... I'm gonna warlock you out of this house. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash your face with my jaw. 
etc. I'm a killer, not a talker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, action over words, Karn. I see true potential in your eyes. You are a champion I'm keeping my eyes on. Bargo, but you, I don't know anything about. Please tell me. Bargo, Bargo here to smash things. Bargo <laughs> gonna smash Karn into pieces. Bargo half fork with lots of muscles. Bargo has a ah! word with oh, Bargo have okay. loose grasp of grammar. <laughs> Bargo went to fighting school. Okay. Not grammar school. Fair enough. Bargo don't need no grammar to punch you through your face. <laughs> no saying? Oh, quick moment. We should talk for a living. What's happened to us? <laughs> I made a bold choice. Uh, it's, a, it's a choice. It's a bold well, choice. Bold Grandmaster, choice. I, I, did I tell you or, or did I tell you? That tonight's champions would be something else. Ah! There's yeah, a lot nice. of screaming, and I'll be honest, this is the best pick me up after watching this game of no rams and tigers. Honestly, I'm impressed. And even though there's no grammar rules applied, I am excited to see how they'll play in our arena and our rules. Arbiter, please tell me you've pulled up an exciting location. Perhaps. Somewhere different. I I think I've been inspired by by Karn's crystalline structure. I think I know just the place uh, a favorite of yours. I think you might recognize it. As the Arbiter waves his hand, about. opens up a portal uh, to a hot, dank cavern of a putrid smell fills the air as you walk through. Welcome, champions. Let me introduce you to a very long forgotten underground civilization. Now, obviously it's not thriving anymore. The al -Anon civilization long ago used to farm and mine these beautiful gems you see around you, but their entrance was collapsed and, <laughs> well, it was a little hard to breathe after that. So you'll find yourself not along just beautiful things, but the memories of those who used to be here. Perhaps their death will be a warning to you to be careful of this very fragile arena. <laughs> and as you look around on this particular location, you notice that there are gorgeous gleaming crystals of blues and yellows, auras just lighting up this cavern and this colorful spray all around. You can see clearly, except when you look down, across these hmm. very tenuous stone bridges that go from platform to platform. It's a very foggy underneath. If you were to yell, the echo would go down and down and down, perhaps never reverberating back to you. Uh, now, champions, be safe, but of course, push your opponent, maybe to their death. And with that, she will open her wings and fly up high to the sky, and if your eyes follow her up, you'll notice almost through these ceilings of caverns, up above you sits an entire arena of acolytes that surround you in full circle, chanting your name. You hear them stomping their feet in the stadiums. Go, go, go. They are here to witness your glory, she points down at you. Dear champions, I have brought you to these ancient ruins, not for a beautiful visit, but for you to bring glory to them once again. They once saw life and you shall prove it once more. And she'll raise her eyes to her acolytes. I give you two great champions, cheer for them, and they will give you all that you ask for. And she will take her seat next to Doug <laughs> the pug. <laughs> Arbiter, get them situated. Very well, Grandmaster Champions. I need you both to roll me a 1d4. 1d4, 1d4. It's the, it's the little triangle one. It's a bonus. I would. Uh, <laughs> 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 nope, that's a 20. That is not a 1d4. That's about 16 too many. Let's see. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Uh, the, oh, there it, it is. A 1. Yeah. Nice. For yeah, I got a one. We like, that. We like no. that. Uh, 
Might have to roll that directly well, in Foundry. Those, those, those were... Okay, <laughs> okay now, now we're just <laughs> getting... Into the roll. Might have to do it. Just rolling <laughs> out do the, uh, the, the D4 directly in Foundry. There it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was, I was looking for it. It was not where I thought it was. <laughs> we like to oh, hide our dice here. It's part of the roll. game. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. There we go. I mean, it happened. One. Ooh. Okay, roll me another D4. Both champions. Three. Uh, two. And a two. Karn, you will yeah. find yourself. Oh, let me try to move you. I always wanted to do that. Up here, the top of this uh, mm-hmm. this cliffside. Oh, snap. That Bargo, you find yourself right here as the Arbiter exits, staring each other down a mere... What's the distance here? Let me tell you. A mere 40 feet from each other to start this death match. But we can't start the death match just yet because the Acolytes have already awarded each of you a hero point. A hero yes. point Ooh. meaning that you can go above and beyond your limitations. One time you have one hero point, use it to double an action, to get out of trouble, to uh, to do something really creative. You know, let your let your imagination run. Um, something double above and beyond your limits. Um, the Grandmaster's voice yells down below, Remember your hero points when you want to do something grand. There's nothing that makes me angrier, angrier and apparently not able to speak, when a hero point goes wasted because you forgot to use it. Right. So wait, it's double the action, right? Uh, you, can, you, can, like. you can double use it fun. for anything you want. A different super flavor. move if you want to act again, if you want to double your movement. Anything along Sick. those lines. It's your chance of sorts to amp up whatever mm-hmm. action that you want to do. Take it to the next level. It's your Push it's your it Super limits. Saiyan 2 card. You know what I mean? Yes. Awesome. Yes. That's so. my sense of being. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what it is. Uh, yeah. All right. Very well. Oh, Grandmaster, Master, the, the Acolytes also have already summoned the Box of Chaos. Already. Already? Already. She looks out towards her acolytes. My goodness, are you all really intense for this? Arbiter, lay it on the field. Now, let me tell you this, dear champions. The Box of Chaos is a little bit more dangerous, if you will. If you can get to it, which it appears that it is over across on the other platform, you may offer anything of value to yourself. And when you put that in the box, the box will give something back. Sometimes it's oh, nice and sweet, and sometimes it's an intense, dangerous, magical item. So, mm-hmm. you might want to take advantage of it. Alright. Alright. Champions! Are you ready? Da-da! <laughs> then roll for initiative. Oh, ready. Uh, Karn is them. ready for carnage. Bargo would like to make clarification. Yes. It is one great fighter and one mediocre one. As he's talking, I want to zip <laughs> towards the chest. Immediately, I'm going to use my action point to double my speed. And I grow, grow wings with my bonus action because I can do that as a gem dragonborn. <laughs> Keep talking, Chuckles! <laughs> I'm going to, you know what? Surprise round. Go for it. First to act. <laughs> Before initiative, it's even acted. You can use your hero point to make this move if you want. You want to double your movement to get there mm-hmm. with your wings? That is 60 feet. I think you can do it. Yep. Bargo sends us something unexpected. <laughs> and I zip, zip my happy ass over, so let me... Oh, thank you very much. Gotcha, no worries. <laughs> this is going to make this yes. night so much easier. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I guess I gotta I gotta offer something to the box, no? The, you certainly, the box creaks yeah. open, it whirls and hisses at you, and it demands oh. in its open mouth, "Give me something." So now I you have the opportunity. Snap to off offer one me. of my horns, and I drop it in the box. Oh. <laughs> Offering a piece of your own body. Roll me two d tens. All righty. D10s. And we'll take the higher of the two because you're offering a piece of yourself. You're rolling oh. this with advantage. So two D10s. This is great. Does that hurt to chop off your horns? Oh, yeah. It's spouting blood. It's, it's, it's cool, <laughs> a 10? Yeah. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me a 1D100. Alrighty. D100. Coming up. 44. 44. Out of this box, the lid slams shut with your horn inside of it. It rumbles, and it flings open as a burst of pink and yellow uh, flames burst out with no heat. But they're just stunning to the eyes, and out floats a magical piece of chain mail. As it falls into your hands, you uh, can put this on with no penalty. You get a plus three to your AC. This is a plus three chain mail. <laughs> Ho 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 ho! Uh, yeah, I, I put it on. And gosh, let me find my override. <laughs> Don't mind me. That's a good plan. Do you want to put it on? Are you sure? <laughs> Do I not want to put it on? Seems pretty boss. Does not seem like a good idea. Definitely putting it on. Put it on right now. If I could put it on twice, I would. <laughs> May I make a recommendation and you toss it into the pit? I'm gonna toss you into the pit. I'm over here. <laughs> what? <laughs> No, you're not. Oh, this is weird. Yeah, get used to it. You're over there now. <laughs> All right, very well. Well, now you, Karn, don donned in a plus three magical chain mail. I need both of you to roll for initiative, so hit that fist icon at the top and uh, click the dice button so we can uh, we can see who's first to act. Nice. Karn with Karn a seven. coming in with a seven and... Hmm. Me. Boom. Vargo with a four, taking second place. That's okay. That's okay. Second is nice, too. It just means I get to go... I don't know what it means. Next. <laughs> it means you get to go after. Carl. Sometimes I start talking without knowing where my sentence is going. <laughs> Tell me about it. Me, too. All right, I guess it's, it's okay. Me. Remember you went to fighting school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, not thought school. No brain school here. No brain. But Grandmaster, no. I, I I know that we want to start the death match, and but the the accolades don't seem to want to let us start. They've just triggered a chaos event. Oh. <laughs> perfect. Bro, perfect. Bro. All right then. To begin, dear champions. Perhaps we'll go ahead and spice things up a little bit more. Karn, since you went first, go ahead and roll a d twenty for me. Let's 20. see from the chaos table. What? Is chaos! Sorry, it had to be done. That's a 15. Yes, yeah, so we get to do one of our new ones. All right. So, on this list, <laughs> all of a sudden, you hear a small rumbling, and the little rocks around you, the pebbles, begin to uh. shake, and you see little tunnels begin burrowing underneath your feet, and up uh -oh. pops. Yeah. Twelve <laughs> tiny minitars. These are not <laughs> regular minitars. These are minitars. <laughs> you must decide which is more fearful. Twelve minitars or one regular size minotaur that also crawls up. <laughs> <laughs> Be very careful, each of these. Oh, I'm, I'm picking, I'm picking the two of you. Who, oh dear. I would like the one Minotaur, please. <laughs> <laughs> these are baby Minotaurs, but a certain oh, unique no. breed that have evolved within these dark caverns. That's so sad. <laughs> where, where are there? Hold on. I think there's one extra large minotaur I did. On there. You said there was an extra large one as well. No, no, no. There's one. Oh. One regular large. Which this... is worse? One regular or 12 mini? This is a regular minotaur. One, yeah, but there's two oh, Like an minotaurs. Arby's large, not like a McDonald's large. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, well, okay. Yeah. You want to, you want to, you want to, okay. You want to, you want to de-size. You want to, you want to de-size a minotaur. Got it. 12, 12 minis, one big. Is that better? Yeah. One big. I haven't counted them yet, but it looks... No, there doesn't look like there's 12. Do you know how to count to 12? On the bridge right here? You can't see these? How many ones? 1, 2, 3... No, there's 12. 12. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Why don't I see all of them? I don't know. Did you It's not fine. Know? I don't need to count. My screen okay. looks different, and it's fine. <laughs> Apparently, the Grandmaster might be on some hallucinogens. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Continue either way. All right. Is my go? 
Uh, it is. Yes. Your turn. I'm gonna. I'm gonna lightning lure this big minotaur over to me. Okay. He stomps his hooves and looks at you. He has to make a strength uh, oh, save, correct? Wait, am I close enough? I'm close enough, right? That's 15. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so it's got to make a strength saving throw? Strength saving throw. Plus four right, to its I'm strength. Oh, crap. 19. 19. That's far too good. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay. I I giggle and wave at him. <laughs> it's a misunderstanding. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> With this roar, go ahead and roll an intimidation. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's in that one. <laughs> you make the exact sound that its dinner makes. <laughs> It hones in, and you look like a chicken dinner to it. It is hungry. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. I, like, start sweating, but since I'm a gem dragonborn, it's just glitter. I'm just boing. <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right, anything else for your turn, Karn? Bonus action. Any, uh, oh, any I movement? I would like to... Uh, oh, I think I used. Uh, oh no, I'm just gonna fly straight up. Okay, how I far? I still have my wings for a minute. Uh, thirty feet. Mhm. Mm okay, you are flying up thirty feet in the air. I will note that. All right, hovering above that box. Grandmaster, mm -hmm. when is the, when is the Minotaur's it. turn? The Minotaur. Let me roll. This is gonna be a flat roll. He will be a six. Which amazingly so in the still means he goes before Bargo. <laughs> yep. <laughs> row, row. Hey, that awesome. <laughs> All right. This well. very angry Minotaur now looking at you, <laughs> Karn. It is going uh -huh. to run and do a gore attack, He's stomping its hooves, kicking up. Oh, it's here in the air. He's 30 feet up. 30 feet in the air. That's I spit right. pop rocks on him as he tries that. <laughs> <laughs> he can't get to you. He's going to hang out right below you mm -hmm. instead. And he's going to try to throw his great axe up at you. Not oh, crap. Now, here's the thing. Because his great axe does not return on himself, he's going to have to first roll to hit you and then roll to try to catch it or else... There's a chance his great axe will also hurt him. Yes, good, good. All right, rolling to attack with his great axe. Has a twenty-one hit? Yeah. <laughs> twenty-one Maybe. hits. Okay, yes. okay. Don't worry. I mean, kind of worry. <laughs> that first one is going to be four. You got real lucky on that D10 being a two. <laughs> That's awesome, though. It barely comes up, scraping you a little bit on your foot, giving ah. you four points of slashing damage. And that is going to come back down on him. <laughs> and we will see if he can avoid his own hit. Oh, okay. That 18 will hit him as well. So as this comes down, crashing towards him, trying to catch it, distracted a little bit by the fact that he hit you, will take five points of damage instead. Nice. It hurts him more than it hurts you. <laughs> Fargo! What you get? You will go, and then the mini tars will go after. Okay. Uh, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna like take like, a, like five feet, like it's a little quick, a little step, five feet forward, and I'm gonna use gust, uh, which uh, to try to push that bottom um, mini tar off the cliff. Mm. Absolutely. And Gust has a good range on it, too. It's a bit of a cone, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's 30 feet. And I can push them five feet away from me. Okay, they have yeah. to roll like, the strength, uh, uh, a strength saving throw of 14. So this is a 30-foot cone here. You could uh, you can get all of these guys pretty much if you want. Ooh, let's do that. Let's get as many as I can. All right. Be greedy. Do it all. I'm going to run up here. 
Yeah, and then <laughs> push down, I guess, to knock them off the cliff. Okay. Yeah. What, do they make a save on that? Yeah, uh, it's 14, strength saving. They have to be a 14. Okay, 14. Well, there's for one. We gotta do this 12 times. Bargo blow hard! Oh, the minis will go and get them all. Bargo blow hard! Go and split them into two groups. Two groups? Alright, so one group got a 12. Oh, oh, they didn't make it. Sweet. And then the second group gets a 20. Dirty 20. Dang, survived. <laughs> so this bottom group then is pushed back five feet. And I think they... I, I would say the bottom four then that had failed will fall off There's down some... that ledge. Because uh, you push them five feet in that angle. The bottom four? Because they're six. Yeah, well, these over here would probably just Okay, so you want the, the first over. four. Gotcha. gotcha, gotcha yeah, gotcha. from the angle of it. Geometry, angles, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, math. That was right there. Yes. Got it. Got it. And as you do this giant gust of wind, Bargo, tell us what that looks like. Uh, I, I, I I pull back and I go, <gasps> and all the little, the, the little, the little minotaurs just tumble like, <laughs> screaming like for in like in pain because it hurts to roll and because they know what they're, they're they're about to fall and they cry they cry for their mom and and I laugh. Ah ha ha! Ah, Bargo show you, Bargo show you too. That's stronger than you. Really impressive killing babies over there, Bargo. They're just tiny. <laughs> Are there babies? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I mean, if you want, you can roll a nature to see if you can tell if they're babies or not. <laughs> Bargo does not care. Make a shame okay. check. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask questions you don't want to know the answers to. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Perfect. Anything else for your turn? Bonus action. Any additional movement? Uh, I, I just wanna. I just wanna take my cape and go. <laughs> Just as a show of, you know, flourish. Yeah, of course. Why would you not? It's a beautiful not flourish. Exactly. You can give us a performance check on that. Oh, sure. Oh, I rolled two of them. <laughs> That's okay. They're, they're both pretty good. <laughs> we'll, we'll give you that 16. This minotaur closest to you, <gasps> his eyes go wide. And to him, you are a magician. He worships at your feet. That is the coolest freaking move he's ever yes. seen. That baby mini mini tar is going to be on your side for a while. Sweet. You have a companion. <laughs> Bargo make friends. <laughs> it's gonna hurt twice as much when I kill you both. <laughs> <laughs> he, cool, he he runs up to you and kind of tugs at your cape and looks up at you with his big old giant mini tar eyes. <gasps> just absolutely amazed at your strength. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just you mark. I am great. Hero. I'll just mark him as stunned. That's <laughs> <laughs> fair. fair. Perfect. Arbiter, is that the end of the first round? Grandmaster, yes. Uh, that is the that is the end of the the festivities for round number one. Let me give you a d twenty here. Yes. Mm, yes. Yeah, that's right. It's a nineteen. It is a 19, mm. good, that's not embarrassing. I respect that, I respect that, but even more so, ugh, we got something really freaking amazing here. I don't know if you noticed, but a second chaotic event has been triggered. It has? So this time, what I need is from Bargo. You get to give me a D20 roll. Let's see what we bring out here. What will you summon? Nope. Okay, one more time. Down here instead. A three. <laughs> three. Perfect. Perfect. From this ground, it's dark, it's dank and little tiny mushrooms begin to pop up here and there, all around in bright luminous colors. Same as the gems, pinks and blues. I know on the map they're gonna be pretty you know, normal, but use your imagination. It's D&D. &D. <laughs> so these little mushrooms as they glow and sparkle are all around the map, choose to interact with them or not. 
As we know, mm. mushrooms can be tasty or dangerous. This is true. Cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then we begin at the top of the initiative for our round two. Round, round two, me. number two, two, Grandmaster. All right. Round two. Uh, I'd like to use my move. Well, I'm still flying. So I'm going to use my movement to fly about halfway across the bridge. Okay. I'm still going to stay up. And then I'm going to shoot that Minotaur uh, <gasps> with my uh, crossbow. Okay. Do it. Do it. Nothing. 11, 11 will not hit. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> it calls <laughs> you. Sticking its tongue out. Uh, I would like to taunt it so that it tries to charge towards me even though I'm in the air. <laughs> what are you, a wuss? Go on, you're gonna let me shoot at you like that? Or I'm gonna toss my axe and catch it with my face? You're a moron, cowboy! A 10 for intelligence. I think that's a 50 50 flip. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna flip a coin. Karn, I'll let you call it heads or tails. Oh, uh, heads, please. You <laughs> went to the music. <laughs> you, he is that stupid. He no. is, in fact, that stupid. No! <laughs> no! Come on, Chuckles! <laughs> that Minotaur charges straight at you and off the <laughs> cliff, falling. Oh as, he, as he falls, he looks back. It's it's totally like, uh, like Die Hard as he's just falling into the <laughs> abyss. He's just like... <laughs> And then you just hear a thud at the bottom <laughs> as blood and gore just... It's on the bottom. <laughs> it's way down That's there. There's not though. a way that you do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, you convinced that Minotaur to run to his own death. Yes. Fair enough. Nice. <laughs> All right. I believe it is the... Uh, is it the Minitar's turn now? It is the meanie tar's turn. It is, it is. This small little horde. <laughs> because there is only one that they can get to. I see... Uh, my my map is showing a little different. I see five. There are seven. Three, four. There are seven. No, wait. Yeah. Eight. There are eight with the stunned one. Eight. Okay. There's one does not count. The others are all going to charge Bargo. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. You hear a small, <laughs> tiny horde running towards you <laughs> with their little mini axes that they have. They don't have great axes. They have mini axes. Of course they do. You know, little <laughs> little tiny baby ones. Yeah, why would they not? And they are going to try to hit you. Okay. That will be an 18 to hit from one of them. Oh, yeah. All right, second. A 13. Nah, yeah. <laughs> it's a, a 13 is a glancing blow, Grandmaster. Okay, keep track of how many hit and how many are glancing. Okay. Please do, because I cannot. All right. How are we doing? 11? One, one and one. 11. That's going to miss. Four. Here's roll five. And I think we have one more after this. That'll hit. Last one. Come on, Bargo. You can survive this. Wait. That'll hit as well. I just, I, I, I Bargo has an idea. Okay. What's your idea? Uh, I have a reaction. Use I it. Use, I can use shield as reaction. It gives me a plus five. It AC. does. Meaning none of those will hit. <laughs> as you ding, cast ding, shield. Ding, what's ding. Ding. What's the shield look like as you cast it? Uh, I, 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 I go down to one knee like superhero pose and just this like little bubble. You know, like 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 the like the, the robots and the, the droids in, in Star Wars. I get like a little bubble. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, you cast that shield for the next round. Uh, plus five of the AC. None of those mini tars will hit you. All right. Sweet. They're just on the other side of your shield screaming, almost like a small rager. <laughs> They're tiny <laughs> little axes. All right. Anything else for the uh, Mini Tars Grandmaster? That is it. Bargo! Your rebuttal, please. Bargo! Uh, 
Um, I, uh, I, I'm gonna look at, I, I, again, I laugh, I laugh because they could, they did not do what they wanted to do. Ah! And then I cast, um, I cast, uh, Grease. Ooh. <laughs> yes! A uh, 10 foot square. Uh, ten foot like square. in the middle of those, those, the, you know, somewhere in the middle of them. The ones yeah. closest to me. Let me get a 10 foot square here. That's a, that's not a square. Hold on. I know what a square is. Just hold on a second. Equal sides on both sides of the square. Yeah, you'd think that'd be easy here, but it's it's a, it's more complicated than Last it sounds, okay? That's what I went to. Yeah, yeah. Don't bother. All right. I keep drawing more of them. These are going to be huddled pretty close together. I'm going to just say you get all of them. They're all going to be oiled up mini tars. Yes, yes, good. Looking slick and shiny, but also struggling with movement a little bit. Mm-hmm. I think uh, Grandmaster, they might might need to make a dexterity saving throw. They we do a dexterity absolutely... saving throw. To if not, they're prone. Oh. Okay. Uh, they're okay. dex. I gotcha. This was gonna be a straight roll. We'll just do it all for all of them. Sweet. <gasps> oh, natural one. <laughs> you cast grease, <laughs> and they slip and slide, and it looks like they're dancing, and they can't quite control, so they grip onto each other, holding a bit of a chain, and then as they're moving and trying to get their ground, one slips off the edge. And since they're all <gasps> holding hands, they make a chain oh. link as they all fall down into the chasm below. Why, God, why? Oh. Even the one that adored you. Oh, no. <laughs> you should try to catch him. You can save him. Uh, 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 Pargo's going to let it go. <laughs> Pargo don't want to risk it. Don't let anything hold you back. It's very pragmatic. Wow. Okay. The mini tars are now off the battlefield. We resume, but those mushrooms are still glowing. All right. Hmm. I would like to... Is it, is it my turn? Wait, hold on a second. Bargo, you have cast uh, Grease. You had anything for your bonus action or movement here. Can I move towards that, that mushroom that's behind me? Yeah, absolutely. You can uh, <laughs> You can even take it with your bonus action if you want. I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> you okay. take it. It's mine. You're over there. What, what, you just yeah. you pick it up real quick? Yeah, I pick it up. I just hold it. You just hold it. Okay, you hold it with your hand. Go ahead and roll for me a d6. d6. This one. I'm not going to expect it. I'm just going to grab it. Uh-oh. But <laughs> you are very lucky. As you pick up this golden mushroom, it glows, almost pulsating, resonating, and it begins to seep into your skin, and your veins grow yellow for a hot second, and you feel replenished. You feel <sighs> revitalized. This is yeah. going to give you some bonus health. Take in 10 HP. Sweet. You're feeling nice. better. You got 10 Some temp. magic mushrooms to make you feel good. Those are going to come in the form of temporary hit points since you are full health right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Very well then. I believe that is the end of the round. Grandmaster. Sweet. You know what I need from you, Arbiter. You got it. Ten. That's actually not bad. That's okay. Or it's average. Not as much of a disappointment as usual. You know, that's, that's what I aim for. <laughs> Let us continue, then. Round number three! My mediocre partner. All right. I want to zip back to the other side of the bridge near where that other mushroom is. So I'm going to be close to it. And then I would like to uh, uh, cast my green flame blade and light the grease on fire on the other side of the bridge. Okay. Because that's that's where all those little minotaurs got soaked, so I'm going to light it up. Y yeah, you, you definitely can do that. <laughs> you certainly Hiya! you certainly do. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, and as my bonus, uh, my bonus action, I'd like to investigate this little mushroom by me, if I still have time. You absolutely can. Go ahead and give me a survival check. Oh, sorry. Okay. Let me roll survival. Right. <laughs> it's the same result. Four. <laughs> I think. Let's see. It's a glowy oh, mushroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll take the four. That was the first roll anyway. It's right. both plus zero. Oh, no, no. Yeah, we'll take your actual survival. It's fine. It's Ooh. fine. We'll allow Ooh, it. A 19. Go ahead and give me a D6. <laughs> a D6. What the 
Five. Mm. Ooh. Okay, you recognize this mushroom, and you Ooh. know that if it is consumed or touched to bare skin, that it will slow for one turn. Awesome. Thank you. I let it sit there for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it, let it simmer. <laughs> yeah. And I say, come and get me, you baby killer. <laughs> uh, my turn. Uh -huh. yeah, uh, 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 so that fire is raging in front of me. Yeah, that's uh, that fire is, uh, is is consuming this entire grease spot that you lit up or that I will you put down earlier. Uh, just a little bit closer, and then use gust to win and, again and push and <laughs> blow the fire towards uh, the idiot over here. You can absolutely try to change the direction of this fire. <laughs> roll, roll the the fire has to make. Well, the fire can't make a deck save. Let me let me just roll a flat. Uh, I'm gonna roll it with disadvantage to be honest. Yeah, because it's fire. With a three, you, uh, you, this strong gust of wind will change directions, blowing at, uh, right at Karn, who is in the air right now, so it's not touching you yet, but it is right below you, where you're, uh, actually, you did come yeah. down to get the mushroom, didn't you? I did come yeah, down, yeah, I'm on the ground by the mushroom. Yeah. Okay, then you are gonna take, uh, five points, of fire, points of, <laughs> five <laughs> of fire oh, damage. Five points of fire damage. Five. Yeah, almost a hundred. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Your points don't work that way. <laughs> All right. All right. As you uh, blow this, anything else? Uh, bonus action movement. Um, I'm gonna get like away from the edge of the. Maybe just go 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 a little <laughs> bit back. I'll take a little step back and get away from the edge of this thing. Okay. Yeah. Cure yeah, yeah. ground. That's I good. get it. I get it. Absolutely. Okay. I go smart. Do not want to fall. <laughs> uh huh. We dig real hard. Maybe they did teach you something in that fighting school. They did. What? What did? What was your GPA? What did you graduate with? Uh, I graduated with a an apple apple plus, which is like the mm -hmm. best grade. The grade with the fruits. You get the you get the a cucumber is the worst. <laughs> and then, and then, then orange <laughs> is like in the middle, and then and then a pineapple is a little higher, and then apple. Apple is the best grade, and I got Apple Plus. Apple. I'm Apple very Plus. proud of you. It's clearly Fabulous. showing on this field. You are all apples, sir. A gentleman and a uh. scholar. Oh, was it me now? Uh, Grandmaster, that's Sorry. the that's the end of another round. We're flying through these rounds, but the acolytes screaming down at this show of yeah. of just carnage and fire F mushrooms flying everywhere minotaurs falling left and right the uh, the the acolytes are just ah, they're chanting your names and screaming and they have triggered another chaos event no crap <laughs> okay okay uh you know what arbiter let's have you roll a d20 for me okay very well 15 did we get a 15 oh. earlier yeah, uh, roll that again. Okay. 19. Mm, okay, good. I just wrote this one up, so we're going to test this out. Mm -hmm. Great. On this, <laughs> suddenly, this is going to sound weird. Just follow me with this, both of you. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, mm -hmm. between your legs, a small horse appears. <laughs> <laughs> and it grows okay. to a normal size. Now, this is a magical horse that sits between your legs. It has polymorph and it reads your thoughts, allowing you to transform this horse to look like anything you want. It is going to now give you 40 feet of movement. Yee! Ah. But before we move forward, tell us what your pony now looks like. Karn, we'll start with you. Mine looks like a massive capybara. Oh, those man. are super chill and adorable looking. I know, no one suspects the capybara, but look at those <laughs> the size of those chompers. Yeah, yes. They've got huge teeth and it, also a giant rump. Like, rather That's large. That's right. Very mm -hmm. cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one a horse due to the lack of capybara <laughs> tokens in existence in the world. You know, it's a it's a resource, it's you know, it's a supply chain. We'll we'll put in a request for that. <laughs> Of all things, we have a giant capybara here with us. And for you, Bargo, 
What is it uh, that you are? Unrelated questions. Does anybody know what the uh, natural predator of a coffee bar is? There isn't one! <laughs> you sucker! <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I'm going to make one up there. I believe. I'm going I'm to pick a big brown thing that's bigger and meaner. So I'm going to pick a bear. Bear. Classic. I think we actually have a bear token. I definitely have a nice. bear token. There Such you go. Kindness. We did not embarrass your DMs. <laughs> <laughs> the bear versus Perfect. the capybara. Capybara, capybara. I was making kind of, a, kind of a pun. But yes, I got, I got, I got your pun. It's a little bit of a joke. Oh, bear. Oh, I it went over my head. I'm sorry. Yeah, well. Not to be confused with the yogi bear. <laughs> I got that one. I'm not laughing though. All right. I thought it was funny. It wasn't funny. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's enough for another round. Shall we go for another round? Uh, very Yee! well, Grandmaster. I believe this is round number four. Let me say this. Round four. Be your champions. Make this one yeah. interesting yeah. because we'll take a quick break after this one. So give us a little one two punch to make us remember this over intermission. All right. You got it. I'm going to, it's me. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna hop on my capybara and I'm gonna zip. Is a, is a fire only that wide? Can, am I able to zip yeah, around Yeah, you can it? go or around it. Go through it. All right, go around it. I'm gonna charge it and I'm going to swing with my, uh, oh no, wait, sorry, before I do that, on my way, can I dip my uh, hand axe in that mushroom? Like, like, like as just I'm riding, like, click, click, like pick it up, collect it. Yes. Absolutely. Go and now it. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to go after <laughs> after Vargo. I'm going to swing first with the with the hand axe, and I'm a crossbow expert. So when I swing with a with a melee weapon, I get a free shot with no penalty with my crossbow in my other hand. So this is this, this is the plan. This is a great plan. I don't see how first. this could fail at all. What could go wrong? Nothing could Shit. go wrong. <laughs> except the <laughs> except maybe the roll. Yeah. Go. Wow. An eleven will yeah. not hit. All right, and I don't, I don't get to do the second thing. That the first thing doesn't go right. Uh, your what hand axe has a wow, yeah, plus, yeah, yeah. You, uh, you can still take a take a shot as a, we'll just say as a bonus Sweet. action. Sick. All right. We like murder here. <sighs> That'll do it. Sixteen. 16. Well, well, hit. Roll for Wait, damage. Roll. What's happening? He that's hits a, you. That's eight, eight damage total. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, did you roll the what? I rolled the six thirteen. Six, Sixteen. I'm gonna cast shield again. Oh! <laughs> Burning. Denied. In your face. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> As that shield um, pops up once rejected. again. Especially right before Valentine's Day. <laughs> uh, uh, it's my turn, right? Yes, mm -hmm. unless Karn okay. has anything uh, else. Uh, I. I, I, uh, get, I get on my, my, my bear and I, I kind of ride slightly forward and kind of U-turn. So I'm like slightly behind him. So I just kind of U-turn as he's going past me. Uh -huh. And I leap off my bear uh, up in the air. I take like a big step and I do like a flip on the air. And, I, and from the air, I cast Firebolt. Okay, Firebolt. Gentle okay. reminder that this bridge is still greased. <laughs> Fiery. <laughs> 18 no, to I hit. Just, I just went to rain. Oh, 18 to hit. Do I hit you, sir? Uh, yeah, I'm at a 17 now because oh, okay. of my mail, you, so you, you just you, hit me. You don't You don't have shield? No, I don't, I don't oh, okay. have shield. Because okay. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a wuss. I don't <laughs> need a shield. <laughs> just fight me! <laughs> 12 points of fire damage coming in uh -oh. to Karn. Uh-oh. All right, sucker. <laughs> Okie dokie. Karn takes it. Okay. Ah! <laughs> 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 Bargo thing, car not gonna survive. All right. Okay. Good. Good. I get him. Any other? I get the goal again, huh? Uh, any oh. other bonus actions or uh, any oh, other movement uh, for um, you? No, I'm good. All right, then that is the end of the round, Grandmaster. I will roll here before we. Uh, oh, let me roll before we uh, take a break. Good. Oh my gosh, you get more embarrassing mm. every single time you roll. I started strong and it was, it just has gone downhill. No, but, this is just embarrassing is what it is. Now you're just showing how you really are. It's fine. It's fine. We don't have to talk about how awful you are at rolling dice. We'll go ahead and cut to our intermission. We'll be back after 10 minutes. Enjoy 
all of the wonderful things we put together. See you all soon. Wee. Nice dice, dice daddy. Good roll, dice daddy. That's it, dice daddy. Don't be shy. Get in there. Thanks, Dice Daddy. comforts of home, past the dimly lit taverns, the gently swaying fields, the tallest snow-clad mountain peaks, and above even the golden horizon itself, lies a dark void outside of all space and time. If you're lucky, the dread fortress will call to you, drawing you out of the darkness and into the halls of the Grand Master, Elusia Skypiercer. Though retired from battle, the Grand Master yearns for the days of glory and bloodshed. 
she has tasked the Arbiter, her servant in all things, to curate a spectacle, a series of games to commemorate her greatness and provide a momentary respite from the dull droning of boredom. Heroes, villains, monsters and beasts of all shapes and sizes are ripped from time and their plane of existence to fight for survival in her arena. You, Acolyte, are called to bear witness to D20 Deathmatch. leap forward mm. by the coast mm. the ocean spray flaying into the into my face his eyes are wild wild and wide with fear he had no idea this was coming but at peace still knowing he'll join the rest of his family i slash a deep gash in his chest the blood sprays onto the snow onto the stones, into the ocean. He exhales and he falls backwards. He knows he's lost. He lands and he looks at me. And I look down back at him. Be at peace with your family. Foe. All right, 
<laughs> Welcome back to D20 deathmatch. Break? Hold yes. on here. Yeah. Are you refreshed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah let's do it. Doing push ups. Yeah. Lots of push ups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And play. Oh, wow. I'm impressed. Clearly, both of you very strong. Look at that upper body. Just, both of you. Mm. Put you on some calendars. We're going to make some money. All right. Roll me a, uh, roll me a strength Maybe. check. Both of you. <laughs> Both? Oh, oh, no. Strength check. <laughs> oh, I don't think that We're was the right use one. this one before, huh? No, that's good, yeah. <laughs> no, it sure was. Bargo, you get a plus one to all the rest of your attacks. Those push-ups yes. look good. It was good form. In your face. <sighs> I use my psionic mind ability to just go into his brain to say, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Roll an intimidation check. <laughs> Alrighty. And uh, choke. Roll, uh, roll an insight. Insight, okay. 19. <laughs> Versus uh -oh. a five. You've got the plus one to your swing, but uh, Bargo, we will be rolling with disadvantage next attack. Because he's intimidated. Yeah. Am, am I a bitch? <laughs> am I? Am I a bitch? No. I could. I could be. All right. That self doubt is creeping in. See if you can shake that imposter syndrome. Arbiter, let's go ahead and get this next round started. Right. Round number five. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Corn first to act. Uh, I'd like to unhinge my jaw and blast my breath weapon in his face. <laughs> blast his ass. Uh, you gotta make a dex save, bud. Okay. Dex save. Mm -hmm. Dodge, mm -hmm. dodge, mm -hmm. dodge. Right here. Push the button. Yep, yep. 13. Add the oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Bargo much more better than you. That's fine. Half damage for you. Half damage for you. 2d10 radiant damage because I'm a gem dragon. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sweet. So you're going to take six. Oh, no. Oh, no. Six damage. <laughs> uh, with my bonus action, I'm going to use my elemental gift. So now I can fly for 10 minutes. And then I jump off my capybara and take to the skies. All Your right. capybara finds something to munch on on the ground below just waiting for you. Very confident in your abilities. <laughs> All right. You are now flying again, the capybara oh, wandering around. Can I tell the capybara to bite his ankles? <laughs> sure. I think so. Roll an animal handling check. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is not going to go well. <laughs> let's, let's flip a coin for it. Heads or tails? Uh, tails. Fuck. That copy bar is more <laughs> interested in, uh, in in wandering around eating stuff. You just keep doing your thing, buddy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried now. <laughs> Bargo. Mm -hmm. Car now flying 30 feet above you. Oh, good. Um, I'm gonna go old school, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna. Can I miss this step? Uh, thirty feet into the air. Yeah. I'm yeah. Miss this step, and I'm gonna stab him with my uh with my short sword. That is one way <laughs> to try to hold on. Yeah, you can definitely go for that. <laughs> <laughs> short sword to the face. Oh. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> 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 the skies are mine. <laughs> make me a make me a sleight of hand check, Bargo. Okay, you are able to grab on to the foot of Karn. Now make me a strength check to see if you can you can maintain the grip. <laughs> Good luck. Oh my gosh, an 11. Just barely. 
You grab the foot of Karn hanging from him as he's flying back and forth. Not able to hit with the sword, but you are hanging if you wish. You can also let go. Good. Yes, I'm going to just keep hanging on. Good. Please do. Thank okay. you. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean... Karn, you also might need to do a strength check just to see if you can keep both of you afloat. All right. Worth it. I think Worth this it. seems fair. Yeah, I think it's fair. It's it's a little... I don't know. Bargo, how much okay. do you weigh? 16. Uh, I don't know. Probably a lot. <laughs> <laughs> as much as a person how, can however be. However much it takes to drag me down is going to be his answer. So. Plus two. <laughs> Whatever that is, plus two more. Oh. <laughs> You, right. you falter just a little bit, dropping about five feet, but you are still up in the air. All right. I'm ready. Okay. End of uh, the round. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Eight, Grandmaster. Oh, gosh. Well, I will say this. It is enough. The eight is enough to trigger your own special Arbiter event. So please, dear Arbiter, tell us. What goodness do you have in store now that you have finally reached your threshold? Uh, Grandmaster, this is this is getting a little boring. I would like to shake things up. And the mm. Arbiter will clap his hands, and it's a thunderous amount of sound that just comes out and just echoes off everything, and the, the whole cavern starts to shake and rumble. I need you both to make me dexterity saving throws. This is oh, a high okay. DC... Ooh, 15. Crap. <laughs> so I'll help. Both. Even worse, Bargo, you're impacted by Karn because you're hanging on to Karn's toe. <laughs> <laughs> you have oh, limited, no. like, yeah, swingy like, mobility. As, uh, as you, uh, the ceiling of this cavern begins to collapse downwards, rocks falling everywhere. They start smacking you left and right as you guys... <laughs> Still able to fly, you're sinking deeper and deeper into this uh, into this pit. You will both take seven points of bludgeoning damage um, as you sink into this cavern. Let me get that here real quick. Doink. Here we go. Down and down you go. You actually land and find the bottom of this particular cavern. While uh -oh. the Arbiter <clears throat> brings up this map for us. You look around and you find the actual ruins in which the Alanon had called home. It is gross. Clearly, the digesting of bodies over time has produced some interesting results with interacting with the crystals. If you look around, these bodies, while not alive, are moving. So yeah. be careful where you walk as the dead may still try to claim you. So walk carefully in this map. You will notice a number of figures reaching out, hoping to claim you as their own. And with that, as you fall, you right yourself, you land upright. I need you both to re-roll your initiative. Brand new. Oh. No French? longer holding onto each other's toes. <laughs> A three for Karn! Oh, how non impressive. I push button. Button do nothing. Button does nothing. Uh, roll from your oh, sheet then. Still trying to load. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So that means Maybe I go. Speak twice. it into action. What do you want it to be? Uh, 32. 32. I'll, just, I'll go ahead and give it a roll here. Close. 32 it's 13. it is. Oh, okay, 13. <laughs> Bargo, you will act first in this yes. new round, round number. Well, you know what? Let's just start from one again in a new map. New Ooh, wrong one. Uh, uh, I, I, I take a step over and I jump over to his little box. Okay. As, yeah. I, as I land. Make me an athletics check as you jump. That is sure. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Good enough. Easily and with flair. Uh, and as I land, I use a, uh, I use a, uh, I use firebolt. Like as I'm, I'm like in the air, as I'm going across the air, I, I use firebolt on my way over there. 
sweet. This is impressive. I think I saw this at a circus once. <laughs> oh, no. Your form may be perfect, but as you cast Firebolt, you tumble into your own attack. <laughs> Go ahead and roll damages, but you will be eating that flame. 11. Uh -oh. Oh, it burns. It burns, oh. but you oh. do hit the landing. <laughs> <laughs> Bogo did not mean to do this. <sighs> but I, I mean to do dry. this. <laughs> and I'm going to cast Vampiric Touch at fifth level. <laughs> yeah. Get after it. <laughs> 21 will hit. Yes, good, good. What, what does uh, this so, vampiric touch look like? Uh, so I reach out my hand, but instead of like a shadowy hand, it's like this super cool crystalline transparent thing and all this this creepy light bounces okay. through it. So it looks like a wet, like bendy glass hand. Okay. And it goes and it just like needle points on every tip of the finger jabs into his chest no. and all the blood just like seeps through this clear hand. You can see it siphoning into my chest. Like, wah, 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 wah. Uh, and you're gonna take. <laughs> I think it's 5d6 at this level, right? <laughs> 19 damage. And I regain some of that. I believe. Uh, you regain a half. So no, we will, we will get, uh, you'll get 10 back. Is this, is this an attack? It is. This counts as an attack. Can I use uncanny dodge on this thing? Or is that no? Because it's because it's, it's evil. I don't know. Ye yeah, you can use uncanny dodge. If it, uh, dodge. What's it how does it read? It just says I take half damage. Oh. Oh, yeah, does that I, mean I regain half of that as well? Uh, I will go ahead and give you that full amount of healing. He's just gonna be able to shirk off some of that uh, that damage. Um, and yeah, nineteen divided by two. Cool. Um, okay. You're going to have to... All right, here's what I want to do. Tell me if I can do it. Not an attack, but I want to rub the mushroom that's on the end of my axe <laughs> on his skin. Yep. Just... <laughs> this is like, uh, I mean, go ahead and roll an attack even though you're not doing damage. Like, okay. See if you can actually touch him, because I assume, Bargo, you're not going to just let it no. happen, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. it didn't roll very well. I was like, no, mushroom. No. No. You ate the last one. This one's delicious. Have it. Have it. <laughs> I mean, do you want to try to persuade him? Yes. Roll it's for so persuasion. Oh, it's good. Marco, roll for insight. Shit. <laughs> no! Oh, no! Oh, no! no! He holds up that blade with that beautiful mushroom juice on Want it, you and you're yum, like. Yum? That looks good. Do, do you eat it? It looks good to you. I guess I have to. <laughs> you don't have to. You have your own agency. I it... don't. I do not eat it. I'm tempted, though. I take a sniff. Do the spores it's... do anything? <laughs> it smells good to you. Like a beautiful floral scent. No, the spores don't do anything. No, <laughs> Just All has right. a nice fairy grin. Oh, uh, I'd, like oh, I'd like to jump up and fly again because I haven't moved yet. Okay, you will take an attack of opportunity as you leave the space since you are right in front of each other. Oh, fuck. So, yeah, Bargo, you cool. can take a free swing here as he flies up out of your out of your reach. Yeah, I'm going to swing my short sword at him. Yeah, yeah. get after Shoot. him. 15 to hit. Uh, no, because I have a 17 now because of my chainmail. Okay, 15 uh, does not hit. Dang it. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I should have used something. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, as you're, uh, you, you, where are you flying to? Where are you going to? Where you should go? I'm just going up. Oh, up. Up above you. Okay. How far up. high? As, fi as high as I can, so 30, 30, 30 feet. 30 feet. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just going to look up and, 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 and fire bolt you from here. <laughs> okay. Jumping right into the next round. Let's go! Do it. Fireball! Do it. I yell. <gasps> Natural 20! Oh, yeah! Oh, oh. Oh. And 
and tell then... us this massive firebolt that you cast how does it look as it sends its ray up uh, uh, I, I have to do like a like a like a, I, I get on my knee and I go Phew, when I push up because I pushed up it's the harder the ball is like it looks twice as big as it normally does it just goes up and it just Phew, it hits him and it sends him up of another 30 feet before he starts coming back down. <laughs> <laughs> and like all, and like 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 ragdoll physics, like an like Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, yeah. You uh, you hit him for maximum possible damage plus the roll. You rolled eight, I believe. Maximum possible was twenty on your roll, correct? Yeah. With our critical rules, okay. Mm -hmm. That is a that is a big hit. Alex. And uh, and Karn is looking very, very bloody. <laughs> Alley. Did you already take my damage off, or do I have to? I did that. Yeah. So how much is it? Oh, it was did. it was uh it was twenty eight total. Wow. Yeah. That's how you do. All right. Point. So I'm down to seven. <laughs> Shite. Don't tell him that. You'll be fine. I mean, I'm down to something great. Got oh like crap! A, got like one hundred and fifty left. It's okay. Oh crap! <laughs> Big show. <laughs> it can seem like you're strong. It's fine. Help me! Help me! to the stands. Help me! Plead to plead to the acolytes, please. Uh, uh, Will they cheer uh, for you? Can you get them on your side? Um. No, I probably can't. So I'm just gonna go for murder. <laughs> Uh, murder? How many spells logs do I have? What do, what do I got? What do I got? How can I tell? Um, oh, well. you have. You know, it probably doesn't matter. You're gonna die anyway. Yeah, probably am. I mean, don't, don't worry. You have you one more pack slot, I believe. So you can cast one more fifth level spell, and then the rest are cantrips. All right. Uh, ooh. You got some good cantrips, mm -hmm. though. You do have some good cantrips. That's a bonus action! That's a bonus action! <laughs> That's a bonus action! I'm going to cast Spirit Shroud. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I call forth Spirits of the Dead, which flit around me for the spell's duration. The spirits are intangible and invulnerable, and until the spell ends, any attack I make deals 1d8 extra damage when you hit a creature within 10 feet of you. Uh, it's radiant, necrotic, or cold. I get to choose. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. And any creature of your choice that you can see that starts a turn within 10 feet of you has its speed reduced by 10 feet uh, by the start of the next turn. Meh. So I'm going to dive bomb. I'm going to come back down uh, as my little swirly undead are just dancing around me. And then I'm going to vampiric touch again at level seven, uh, level five. Okay. And I... Do it. <laughs> 21 to hit. <laughs> 21 will hit. Roll that damage with the extra D8 on top of it. Actually, right, so that's... because there is so much death here, I am granting you another D8 of damage. <gasps> you are fighting <laughs> in a graveyard. The death are clawing at you, and if you push that and give them that boost, they will reach out. That's a 28 total damage, uh, and I guess I regain 14 of that? Yes, you do. You gain 14 back. And you will take uh, two. You taste delicious. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right. Oh shit. Oh wait, what's my total right now? I entered something wrong. Twenty-one. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, secret secrets. A <laughs> hundred, a um, hundred million, actually. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can I? Can I use? Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna use my 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 point, my thing, my my thingy thing. Um. Uh, Hero to point. do something. Yeah. Um, I have I have uh, I have a ball bearings in my in my backpack because yep. I have a bunch of years one of those things. Can I just like toss them in, like in the ground behind him, and and then I want to use gust to push him into the you know into the bearings and past hopefully into whatever oh. water that is. Okay, yeah. So you're throwing the ball bearings down. You're using your hero point to do this. So he yeah. not only are you throwing the ball bearings down uh, oh. and then using gust, you will roll with. Tr Double disadvantage, so three dice and take the lowest. What's up? He also starts his turn in my space because of my, my undead, so they also get to hit him with my spirit. Shroud. Oh, yeah. Okay, roll the damage there. All right. 
or roll it to hits for the uh, the spear oh, sorry, shots. No, no, sorry. His speed is reduced, not damage. Not okay, damage. yeah, yeah. His Honestly. speed is reduced. <laughs> um, you throw those ball bearings with your hero point. Uh, make your gust attack. What is it? Is it a save? Correct. Uh, yeah, it's a save. Where to go? I lost it. I lost it. Oh, it's up here. Secret it's, save. Uh, yeah, he has to do a, a fourteen strength save. Okay, you will roll three strength saves and take the lowest cucumber because he is using his hero point and the ball bearings here. Okay. Double so disadvantage. Oh, crap. All right, let's do... 13. <laughs> it's already a well, fail. Just don't be a one, baby. All right. 13, that five will stick. <laughs> All right, that ball bearing with the gust, with the ball bearings, you are going to fall back into this water full of squirming bodies. Make me a, uh, well, first you're going to take, uh, you're going to take 1d10 of necrotic damage from this water. Mm -hmm. Two points of necrotic damage for you there, Karn, and make me a strength saving throw as these bodies try to grapple you. Oh, no. Where was this world before? (laughs) Okay, with a 15, you are, you're in this water still, but you're able to squeeze out of the, uh, of the grapps grass of these uh these dead bodies for the moment for now and uh bargo anything else for your turn as you uh as you send him flying into this water um no i'm done <laughs> all right karn oh wait wait yes 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 wait hold on, okay. hold on. yeah i'm gonna miss this step back over to my square <laughs> i think you have the movement to just walk you don't have to misty step Oh well, it's not a look cool. It will fly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. I am ready. All right, next round. I believe this. Is, I don't even can't even keep track anymore. It's like round number four or something. I don't know. Sure. It's up there. <laughs> We're getting up it's there. Uh, Karn, <laughs> I believe it is All your right. turn. Cool. I would like to burst forth from this water like a hellish mermaid, and I am going to splash and like slide onto the one that he's on. So I'm gonna like swim my way up like the little crocodile man that I am. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna crawl up. And let's see what it's doing. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him with the mushroom again. I'm gonna do. I'm going to make this happen. <laughs> um, hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Swinging with the mushroom. Oh, wait, sorry, that's, 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 uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, so. Wrong attack is listed, but same roll. Yeah, that's um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, does that hit? 13? Does that hit you? A th- 13 uh, is a glancing blow, I believe. I, but no, because I'm going to cast shield. Poof, in your face. Oh, yeah. Another uh, shield. Okay. Uh, but I do get to shoot you point blank with my lovely little gun gun. That's part of the crossbow I'm in. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nat mm-hmm. 20, baby! <gasps> Nat 20! <laughs> Oh, uncanny dodge. Can I use uncanny dodge? You can't he, uncanny you dodge is critical. Shield, that's your reaction. No, that's right. Um, <laughs> all right, Sorry. max maximum possible damage plus whatever you roll. Oh, okay. So then, so nine plus eight, so uh, seventeen damage with my crossbow. Just twang. <laughs> seventeen and, uh, damage. Mm-hmm. And uh, bonus action, psionic in his brain. <laughs> Roll that persuasion. <laughs> Insight counter. No, oh, no. Can you beat an 18? Where is it? Oh, up here. It starts with there. an I. Oh. <laughs> with a five. This is the second time you've heard this and you're like, oh, maybe? <laughs> 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 you will roll with disadvantage again. <laughs> All right, end of your um, turn, right, Karn? Yeah, uh, yes, that is the end of my turn. All right, very well, Bargo. Uh, just from where I am, right there, I'm gonna cast magic missile. missile it at, auto hits at second at, at second level. Mm-hmm. Nice. All right, cast. roll. The- you might have to roll multiple times to get all those rays yeah, from that one, two, 
Oh wait, that uh, hold on. So, that, that, was, that was just three two. at this level. Yeah. Uh, three. Maybe four. Yeah. Uh, four. You have four. 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 It's four. Yeah. Wait, I rolled the wrong thing. So I I ro I rolled the wrong thing. Uh. Oh. That's okay. We'll just more. roll a couple more d4s. No, and then, and then four. Is that it? That's it. Yes, yeah, that looks good. Oh. Thirteen points of force damage into your Oof. body, Karn, as you are also looking very bloodied and rough. Uh, uh, I got this got be something else. I have to have something else. Something else to do. No, I got nothing else. Right. <laughs> oh God. An action. Yeah. That does thing in. It's an action. Okay. Well, um, I um, I'm gonna use Misty Step again and go over to the other side. Have you already Here's used a bonus step. action? Oh, I did. No. What did you do? You did, did uh, magic missile. You have not used a bonus action, correct? No. So I yeah. misty step over. You can Pass misty them. step 30 feet. Go, go far, young man. <laughs> you gonna go this way? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. That is just a dead skeleton. He's not gonna touch you. I mean, he might. He might. Maybe he'll give if you a he, hug. I mean, he, you know, <laughs> he's gonna ask first, but maybe. Yeah. Woo! How far away are you now? <laughs> A lot, like a hundred feet. <laughs> he is thirty-five feet away from you. <laughs> I fly directly towards him. <laughs> okay. And I, I once again swing with the mushroom axe. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Twelve does not hit. Nope. I'm gonna point blank crossbow him again. <laughs> Yeah. And I, is that 14? Yes. Yeah. I cast my last shield. It, <laughs> that crossbow <laughs> will not hit! Oh, crap. Hold up, hold up! <laughs> <laughs> now that you Let him think. Let, over. Over. Let him think. Okay, D4 roller over here. Just give me just a, just, just a second! Uh, let's see, let's see, one action. Nope, that's an action. Fuck. Okay, yeah, let's see. Nothing? No, I think you got nothing. Wait, what's this? What is this? Uh, I'm going to. Nothing. Nope, that's an action. Yes. What else I got? What else I got? I think you're done. No, you, I think you're I think you're done. <laughs> Keep breath. Keep breaths. Don't hyperventilate here, okay? <laughs> Uh, I got nothing. This is it. As the realization <laughs> comes in that you have well, nothing you're not left. <laughs> this is not why you have come. Roll up. Roll up. Save me. Roll up persuasion. <laughs> A nineteen <laughs> acolytes. What say you to this plea? Will you take you mercy? Heard. No! I yell. Your voice <laughs> echoes up in the chamber. Let us know, acolytes. Put those nat 20s or a number 20 if you are so moved. Or give us a one if you deny this. This is our thumbs up or thumbs down if we will give more to card. <laughs> ah! Watch him suffer! <laughs> I'm seeing uh -oh. a good mixture here, actually. Yet. <laughs> what did I do to you, great gator? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Everybody gets one, buddy. <laughs> right now, we're calling it. There's more ones than 20s. Clearly ones. Yes. They reject you. Bargo is in their hearts. They see him and they are cheering. <laughs> Shut down, Karn. Probably it's because you are calling him a bitch so many times. Yeah. <laughs> Just in his own mind, I couldn't hear that. <laughs> They're very perceptive. Tears of glitter fall from my eyes. <laughs> um, Bargo, it is and your then, turn. And for the last time, I think, I cast Magic Missile. Just miss. 
Oh, you can't. No. One, two, <laughs> three, four. Then, then, yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. As you cast that magic <laughs> missile, these chunks of force damage hitting you, Karn, over and over again. Just pounding. <laughs> You slump to your knees, <laughs> conscious but dying. Care for the capybara? <laughs> I, I walk. <laughs> off, I walk over to him. Okay. And I just—I'm tired of watching this. <laughs> I take my, I take my, I take my, my, my knife, my dagger, and I slice his throat. And I, you die with honor. And I keep sawing for a little bit, just so I get the head out. And I hold the head up above. There's blood everywhere. For you! For you! <laughs> the crowd, in response, Stands a whole massive wave of acolytes rising to your call, cheering your name, shouting, Fargo, Fargo, Fargo. They hear you, they see you, they witness your glory. And the Grand Master opens her wings and floats down to you. Fargo, yeah. you have done well today. Oh, thank you, my grandmaster. Fargo do good for you. You have done and well. For the acolytes. You have graduated from this arena. Ah, oh, much relief. <laughs> much relief. Go ahead, <laughs> as the blood keeps spurting out. Go ahead and just um, give that to the, the arbiter. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. I, I, great, great showmanship. Uh, Apple Plus. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, another Apple Plus. <laughs> Apple Plus always. No cucumbers here tonight. No cucumbers no. tonight. Uh, only apples for you, my friend. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> see, see what happens to cucumbers at the end? They get diced up, so. And the Arbiter will take this, uh, this head of Karn under his arm. And he'll grab the rest of Karn's body by the, the scruff of whatever's left of a neck. And he'll fly up and out of this cavern away. And as he <gasps> does, he will uh, slowly set you down high above the cliffs where no one can see, Karn. And set your body mm -hmm. up. He'll take the head. He'll put it right on top. And with a, a magical needle and thread begins to sew your skin back together, leaving a giant series of stitches around your neck. Pull yourself together. I might have use for you. Did you fly off together? Did you, did you hear something, Bargo? I did that, that, did I hear something? Huh. Some of John's stuff? Hey, hey, or maybe it's just that capybara that's still running loose around here. Yeah. All the all the glitter that falls off of my body forms like a rainbow behind me, like ho-oh. -oh. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> Back down on this arena floor. Argo, you have fought valiantly. You have given us a show. You gave us blood. You gave us fire. You gave uh -huh. us grease. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she holds her hand out to you. Come, <gasps> join me and I will present you to our acolytes. Yes. Dreams do come through. <laughs> she will grasp your hand and lift you high into the sky where you are eye to eye now with your fans that had voted and cheered from you from the very beginning. They granted you that hero point. They chose you over Karn. And at the end, they applauded the victory that you had won. Look, look upon your acolytes. They have memorized every move that you have made. They will tell their children and their children will tell their children and their children who will probably decide not to have children will tell their pets and whatnot because pets are easier. 
to take care <laughs> of. On that end, your story, your legacy will live on. Fargo, I present you to our audience as the champion for tonight's evening. Uh, Welcome. Name, name your children after me. <laughs> ah! that, is, that is optional. <laughs> if you do, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> it is and a kind we... request. <laughs> Perhaps a dog, maybe, or your goldfish as an alternative. Yeah, I know. It's high hopes. I will take right. anything. It, Fargo is a, it's a very nice. Is it a family name? It's a family name, yeah. From your grandfather or grandmother? Yeah, I'm or... like the 17th Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long Carry lineage. On the name Legacy of Bargo in your mm -hmm. own homes and you know that they will be destined for greatness that is it Whoa. for us tonight welcome and good night to d20 Death 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 Death